Okay, so YouTube. As you can see, I got this headset now. You all should be able to uh, hear me because it's come to my attention. Excuse me, that the last two videos, or actually last several videos, had a pretty poor mic quality. So uh, this should be better now. I know I haven't made a video in a while. You know, not since the not since the end of the uh, the guy who shot his daughter's laptop, rightfully so, and I'm still glad he did that. But uh, you know, I've just been busy. You know, I've had a lot of things to do. Uh, for example, I just finished this. Uh, writing course that I passed 95% good stuff so, uh, and um, yeah so you know I'm ready to you know bring you guys some more uh, reviews not just on anime anime but also on life other things other aspects um, I just got done studying actually studying for my Japanese course now I can speak it and read it you know, to a degree, the hiragana and the katakana, but I still, I still got a lot of work as far as kanji goes, you know, everyday conversation, but, um, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and it's also with the help of listening to music, Japanese music, via my PSP, so for those of you who want to, you know, learn effective tips for studying, I might make a video if enough interest is shown in wanting to, uh, you know, learn specific tips. I mean, the internet's filled with them. For example, I used this guy. His call was his name was Tumbleweed. I don't know if y'all know of him, but yeah, I um I used some of his tips and they really helped. So, so let's just get to the um to the uh, breadth of this review here. Now, I, I reviewed this particular one a while back, but I only got like two um two views, and I feel I, I thought that oh maybe you know maybe it's just because the heat is still up for my other video and they you know they can't hardly hear me so new mic uh better review so today i'll be reviewing one of my favorite anime movies of all time and i still still i still love the cover now and the actual movie itself um paprika yes see oh shit. yeah paprika now um it's like, I don't want to compare it to Inception, but it has a lot to do with using dreams as far as like a tool for terrorism. So, uh, how can I, how can I start? Um, well, the plot is apparently this woman, Paprika, stole this machine that lets you enter dreams. And, you know, you can actually enter people's dreams and control the outcome and whatnot. But it's pretty cool because you know you're not just you're not just in the dream, but you can also like control how the person feels about it. Like you know, let's let's say if you were dreaming about like uh, guys, let's say you dream you're dreaming about a girl you like, or in my case, an anime character I like, uh, Chun Li or Yoko, and you just happen to have this device. Okay, you could go, you could theoretically go into my dream. Help me realize I am dreaming and bring Yoko, Chen Li, or Shampoo from Ron Half to me. And I would, be, I would be very thankful for that. But uh, conversely, you could also use it for terrorism, which would be uh, messed up. Um, and I don't want to go too into detail with the mo about the movie because it's so great. You know, you don't want to give away the... Uh, it's one of those type of things where you don't want to give away the, uh, the overall story and the, the ending. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty much the story, you know, cyber, ter uh, cyber terrorism, dream terrorism, organization tries to get it back, they keep on failing because she keeps on jumping in and out of dreams, but at one point or another, at several points actually, what happens in the dreams become reality. Like, you know, uh, I remember, let me see if I can see from the surface of this, okay, here we go, uh, these, this giant robot, for example, is actually an, a very overweight, stereotypically American guy. But he's actually very smart in the uh, in the series, in the uh, movie. He's very smart, and uh, he really he really brings the story together. I believe he's the one who designed it. But you know, he's he's talking about how you know we're stuck in a dream and the dreams are becoming real. You know, <laughs> he's awesome. 
But um, yeah. So paprika. I saw it again. Paprika. Um. Now let, let me go. On, let me go into depth about the character design. It's very unique in the way that yes, of course, you you know anime characters nowadays. You know they got these uh, big multicolored hair, huge eyes, uh, strange uh, body proportions, but this one looks more realistic. You know, it looks more, uh, with the exception of the overweight guy, this one looks more like, you know, this, these are the types of people you would run into every day. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very good. The yeah, character design is awesome. Music, I wasn't really too focused on the music as much as I was the actual animation, because that's how great it is, but uh, it, was, it was good. Now, the animation itself was even better, because it, it went from just normal second dimensional to like 3D CGI stuff, but it wasn't, it was too overdone. Like, it, it was very, very well done. Like, it, it, in fact, at one point, while, she, while Paprika was walking around in a dream, she was going down the street, and then she just sort of ripped the street open, like, in midair. <laughs> and there was this hole that revealed, you know, like a secret passageway to somewhere else. Like, it's like fifth dimensional stuff. You know, it was great. But, um, you know, th this wasn't the first anime movie I watched. That was actually uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, if any of you remember that. Which is actually uh, very similar in uh, animation and character design to this. But, uh, but very, very good. Very, very impressively done. Like, if you watched Perfect Blue, which I have not yet, but if you've watched Perfect Blue, watch this. Because it's by the same artist. So, Paprika, check it out awesome stuff oh and before i do turn off this review i'm also going to go ahead and say that i'm going to start i might start reviewing some video games too like i doubt anyone has ever heard of war tech uh senko no ronde and the reason why i bring this one up in particular is because you know i have a lot of friends on uh, xbox live but none of them seem to have this game none of them i don't, I don't you know, there, there aren't really any updates for it or anything. It's just, it's such a great game. It's like underground. But it's, you know, it's your typical giant robot fighting uh, type of game. But it's, it's great, though. Yeah, it's great. So I might start reviewing some video games, too. Um, I don't want to be sued. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Paprika, Wartech, as I haven't reviewed yet. But uh, check it out. And I might put the... Um, what do you call that thing? It's been a while. Uh, I might put a trailer in the description box. So, yeah, you know, after the video or perhaps before, whatever, you can go check it out and uh, let me know how much you like it. So, yeah, everyone take care and uh, keep watching the stars.